So I'm currently in the Eurovision village. Hello everyone from Liverpool. It is quite loud because there are kids, but hopefully you can still hear me. I made it to Eurovision Song Contest, which was super last minute. And I'm coming here with my friend. We have just checked into the hotel and we are going to the arena to get a press pass. And we actually got tickets for the live show from TikTok, which was incredible i did not expect this uh, to happen and we'll see today lots of performances maybe see artists uh, behind uh, the stage as well in the press center let's go explore liverpool and the arena itself Okay, so we now collected our press passes. We have this and we are going to the media center. Um. On this beautiful day, I'm so glad it's sunny outside. You guys ready to party? Yeah! So I'm currently in the Eurovision village where we were able to see some performances from Greece, Belgium, also Ukraine representative from the past, Melovin was performing too. And now I will be heading back to the media center where I will meet my friend, she went to get some uh, food and I also uh, met with the TikTokers as well, with Adam and Sean, it was um, amazing. And now I'm heading back to the media press center to charge my phone and the live show will be like in a few hours, so it's uh, coming up super, super quick and uh, we are very excited. We're just walking, smiling, dancing, singing, everything. It's like celebration of music and it's a very great weather and great mood today. Really happy that last minute we made it. <laughs> And I think Queen of Kings, it's quite like a majestic role, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Sick of everything and uh, wanting to sleep through everything. My way of sleeping was playing video games. Um, so that's what inspired the song the most. I mean, in hours, I mean, if we calculate all the hours, it could be more. It could be more. And as a husband and wife duo. Yeah. How was A very 
good morning it's day two in liverpool and we just woke up and yesterday we went to bed like around 2 a.m because we were super excited after the show and we also went to the press conference and it was quite long but it was really cool to see participants so close answering different questions and about the actual stage i honestly when i went into the venue it was like so colorful and magical anything that i have imagined it was like that so i'm so happy that i made it this year and um, it felt like a dream came true moment for me and i honestly love to see uh, performances live and to see how they change from one a song to another and um, the voting part was very exciting as well so uh, the plan for today is to go back to media center watch the rehearsals for semi-final two and that way we pretty much see every song <laughs> now apart from the um, finalists like the big uh, five and um, yeah then uh, probably we'll explore liverpool a bit more and go back home <laughs> so yeah see you <laughs> Day two of our Eurovision day. So we are with Ksenia. Hello! We are going towards the media center right now to watch the rehearsals. Yay! <laughs> cha cha! A couple of years ago, my mum wasn't able to host Christmas dinner. And then my auntie just stepped forward and said, oh, she'll do it, and nominated one of my other aunties. Well, I mean, you've got to remember, we haven't done this for 25 years, so we're none the wiser. We think this is normal. <laughs> Right, it's not like we kept we kept winning. Right? This is normal. You know? What is going so, on is normal. It was a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to be able to do, and the important thing for us was to really get those relationships right from the beginning with our friends, particularly at UAPPC. <laughs> I just had lunch yeah. with uh, <laughs> I've heard there are some fans of Bieber, so I think it'll be lovely if we do a quick cameo. 
So I just had lunch with my friend and now I'm in the center of Liverpool going back to Euro Village because I have only one hour left in this city. I'm going back to London. We'll be watching the rest of Eurovision on TV screen. But the whole experience has been incredible. I cannot believe I saw everything live. It's honestly, like I said, dream came true. And I'm actually very sad. I don't want to leave and I want to come back next year for the new location where it will be. We don't know. but. Um, yeah, it's been really, really nice to spend a few days in Liverpool. 